Hey there, my friend. Hey, quick question. Are you trying to figure out how to tag new AWeber email subscribers that you get into your list? Well, stick around. My name is Chris, chrisandgia.com. And in this episode, I'm going to do a quick, exciting episode. I'm going to do a quick tutorial, Zapier tutorial on how to do exactly that. It's really just going to be an Zapier AWeber tutorial on how to tag new email subscribers that you get using the MLSP Funnelizer lead system and Zapier at the same time. So hey, if you haven't already, hey, definitely give this video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel and don't forget the bell so you can be notified whenever I release new videos on integrations, on um, online marketing, Aweber tutorials, email marketing, things like that to help you build your business because this channel is all about empowering you, the home biz entrepreneur with this mindset and the marketing skill sets to get, make more money, get results, and get that breakthrough. So let's get right down into it, all right? So this tutorial real quick is going to be on how to use Aweber, all right, to tag new email subscribers to your Aweber list and using MLSP Funnelizer using Zapier, okay? So quick thing is, why would you want to tag? Well, for example, if you're using Aweber, one of the big things that they have is campaigns. And in order to, and what a campaign is, is essentially using, um, being able to use one list to send a different email follow-up series to different people, depending on how they opted into your list. Okay, very powerful strategy. Now, in order to take advantage of this, you have to be able to tag people. Now, if you're using an AWeb email form that they have to gather your leads, then it's no problem. They make it real easy for you to do that, right? They have like little sign-up forms. You can create a sign-up form real quick, real easy, and do that. But let's say you're not doing that. Let's say you use ClickFunnels, for example, right? To gather all your leads and to do all your funnels, which is a real awesome tool. Well, then how would you do that? Or let's say you're using MLSP's Funnelizer system, right? They have a, they have, they have a way to capture a lead capture page system, right? In order to capture leads. Well, then how would you use that in order to get to tag your subscribers so that you know where they came from and thus do whatever you want them to do. You can do campaigns, you can tag them, and in order to isolate them or segment your list, there's all kinds of different things you can do, right? So in this, this is what we're gonna do real quick in this tutorial because, hey, I couldn't figure out how to do this and I figured it out, and so I just definitely wanted to do this video to remind myself as well, and then, hey, you know, you can benefit from this too as well. <laughs> okay, I also wanna do a real quick overview of what I'm, what I'm talking about, okay? So when I talk about being able to tag your prospects, Initially, what you're probably doing, and this is what I was doing before, is that, hey, when you have a prospect that comes in and they opt into your lead page system, in this case, we're, we're using Funnelizer. By the way, if you want to get more information on how to use Funnelizer or ClickFunnels is your lead page system, I have links below on how you can get started in those free trials, okay? And let's say you wanted to get leads, you're getting leads from it. Initially, what you would do is then you would integrate that with your Aweber list afterwards. So as soon as they become a lead, they go to your email list. And then at the same time, you would also integrate them into your MLSP CRM, which is your customer relationship manager, so you can know where that lead came from and keep track of them on your CRM. So in order to make this work, in order for for you to tag new email subscribers on Aweber on, on ClickFunnels, they have a they have a different way to do it, and I can do a, a tutorial on that if, if that's something that you guys find to be helpful. But this right now we're gonna focus on MLSP because I use that I use their lead page system a lot more, and so in order to do that, you'd actually have to use Zapier. Now Zapier, if you don't know, is basically an online software tool that connects different applications together and allows you to allows you to really automate a lot of work. So let's say for example, you get a new YouTube subscriber. Well, you can make create a Zap is what they call them, where if someone opts, becomes a subscriber or they opt into something and automatically Xavier can create you know uh, an, an entry in a spreadsheet for you so it's a really really great way to save a lot of time and that's what it does it automates a lot of work for them so in order for us to, to for this to work with MLSP, you actually have to use Zapier. Okay. So what would happen afterwards is you would have a prospect, they would opt into your into your lead page system, and then they would go directly to your CRM. So you're not going to send them to that Aweber list. Then it goes directly to your CRM as a labeled lead. I'll show you how to do this. And then via Zapier's at Zap, 
that's going to automatically take that CRM, that lead that was labeled, and turn them into a new AWeber subscriber on your list that is also tagged. So in order to do this, I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to do it, okay? So one, you obviously need a funnelizer account, MSP account. If you don't have one, you can try the 10-day trial uh, in the description of the video, okay? And then what you would also need is an AWeber um, account, right? So you would need to be able to have a list. So in this case, I created this list, Facebook Marketing Course. I'm going to use that as our example. All right, so now we have a we have an AWeber list. We have a lead page system. Now all we need to do is come to Zapier and create our Zap. So with Zapier, it's real it's real simple. All you can all you gotta do is log in, log in or sign up. Sign up is free, right? They have several uh, different pricings, but the one they have a basic one that's free that gives you five free Zaps. So you can just sign up and take advantage of that. And then once you do, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Okay, and this is where we are, and this is where we're gonna create our zap okay so i'm just going to walk you through how to do that real quick so the first thing to do would be to you can just come here where it says create a new zap right make a zap right here so you hit that next thing you're going to do is you're going to set it up so the first thing we want to do is we want to create the trigger right remember the trigger in this case was MLSP lead that is labeled and then the zap the the trigger action afterward is going to be tag a web subscriber so what we're going to do is we're going to do this we're going to use the MLSP um, app now in order to get access to this you're going to need to go into your uh, into your funnelizer system into your MLSP system if you just come here watch me first they have a bunch of training videos here that will help you walk through walk you through that so you just you need to know how to do that otherwise that's not going to be available to you so do that first then come back it says select your my lead system pro trigger right so the trigger is a new prospect with label click on that we say save and continue and then it's going to say select your account right this is the account i already know you can test it if you want but i don't, I don't have to i already know it works and then you just save save and continue and then the next thing is going to say is label right so this is the label that you want that you want the zap to recognize so that if a particular lead comes to a particular funnel you created and has a particular label on that funnel then automatically this is what tells Zapier to trigger the zap right so in this case we're going to do we're going to do uh, use an example of Facebook course PDM okay so you could put that in there now in order to create these labels you actually have to go into your MLSP CRM so you go in there it's really easy to do there's training in the back office on how to do that but you can easily create a new a new label right for anything you want and so I've created a bunch of them in this case we're going to use Facebook course PDF and then we'll say continue now next thing up is they say pick a sample to set up your zap right so you can skip this or you can, you know, to go ahead and um, and get a sample. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this in this case. But what it's saying is that it just wants to pick a sample per, uh, person off of your off of your your CRM to do the test. If you want, you can just go in there and just create a dummy lead, like test one, test two, and then use that as your sample. But in this case, we're gonna skip this step, all right? And then it said this this skip was skip was so skip because they're gonna they want to pull in a, a, a you know a fake prospect. So we'll just um, I'll just continue with default sample. All right. So now we've completed the first trigger, right? The first action of the zap, the trigger. What's going to tell Zapier to take action? All right. Hey, new prospect comes in with a particular label that we want. In this case, Facebook course PDF. Now the next step is to create the action. What do we want Zapier to do after this trigger has happened? Well, we've already said it. We want them to create. We want them to go into AWeber, right? So we come here. We get a new. A to choose the Aweber app and then what we want to do is we want to create a new subscriber okay we click that click save and continue all right and so then what it's saying is that hey you want to check uh, create a uh, pick one of your Aweber accounts I only have one so that's it's pretty much this one and then you just click save and continue and then the next one is the setup now they're asking you well where do you want this um, subscriber to go to all right so first we're going to pick an account and then so that's pretty much this account here. It should be some numbers here, right? That's the one you'll pick. And then once you pick that, you come over here and it's asking you, well, what list do you want to put this new new lead in? We want to put this list in Facebook marketing course, okay? Because that's our that's the one we're doing the test testing on, right? So you pick whatever list that you want, okay? And then it's gonna ask, well, hey, we want what do you want to opt in? So you can say, 
email. So because we didn't pull in any particular prospect name or anything like that, it just has this blank information, but you can just match it up with what it is. So if you're wanting to just pick emails, if you want an email right here, then you just want to pick prospects email, okay? And then let's say, for example, you want name, then you can just come here and pick prospects first name. You're just filling in something that tells Zapier what to put into these areas, okay? And then here's where it's most important, okay, is the tags. So you want to put in a tag that want, that will tell Zapier what to tag your new subscriber with so that when they go into Aweber, Aweber will automatically take that information and say, okay, this per, this this lead has been tagged. So you can decide on whatever, whatever it is that you want, okay? In this case, we'll just probably do like Facebook course. All right, so just that lets us know that hey, this particular lead came in with this tag with Facebook course. Okay, and then you, once you do that, you just hit continue. And oh, by the way, you can put as many tags as you want to. If you see the stop sign plus sign here, you can add more tags if you want to. And if you don't, then you can just um, you can just get rid of them by hitting the minus sign. All right, and then you just hit continue. And the next thing it's going to do is going to say, hey, we wanted to test this, right? Send a test subscriber to Aweber. Uh, you can do this just to make sure that it's connected, that your Zapier is connected to your Aweber. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and skip this test, but that's something that you can do. And just go back to your Aweber account just to make sure that that test, test um, sample does come through. In this case, we'll just go ahead and skip it for right now, for just for the sake of time. All right. And it says this, it was skipped. And then you just hit finish. And you should be good to go. Here's asking you to name your Zap. We can just say Facebook course sample. And then you want to turn your Zap on. Okay. Now, hey, look at that. You just created your first Zap. All right. So we can just go back to the dashboard and you can see it here. Facebook course sample. So now you can see I have some here that I've already created. So what we're going to do now is test it. Okay, so in order to test it, we're going to come back to Funnelizer, okay? And then we're going to go into the particular lead page that we created for this, right? In this case, it's the Facebook course one. We go over here, and then you can come inside and edit the page, and it pulls up. So this is just a sample page I created that is uh, similar to one of the uh, MSP system campaigns that are, that are, that are available. So this is real training, by the way, that you can have access to if, you, uh, if you're in the MSP um, community. So um, so what happens now is what we're going to do is we're going to go here where it says name, right? A name, email address. And you're going to pull, it's going to pull up some side stuff back here. You might not be able to see it. Let's see. But you can see the important part, right? Which is integrations. Okay. So this is what we really want to pay attention to. So if we hit, if we go to edit integrations, it's going to pull this up. Now, this is how you're able to connect your lead page with Funnelizer and to anything else that you want. You can connect it to your CRM, and you can connect it to Aweber, you can connect it to any email autoresponder you want, any integration that you can use with the lead page, this is how, uh, capture page, this is how you would do it. So in this case, what we want to do is remember, we've already come here, right? We've created, we have a prospect, we have a funnel page, and we want it to go to MLSP CRM, right, labeled. So. In order to do that, we come here, you can go to the My List Pro CRM integration. If you don't have this, remember you need to go through the initial training and it'll show you how to do that in the back office. And then once you do that, you can select an integration point and this is telling you, well, what label do you want? Remember, we said that we wanted to use a Facebook course PDF, right? Because that was what we said in the Zap. We told Zapier that if our action is someone comes in as a lead with Facebook course PDF labeled, then we want them to be added into the Aweber list of our choosing with the label Facebook course, right? So all you then have to do is add new integration. And once you've done this, this is pretty much all you have to do. Now, initially you would have had to connect your Aweber account, right, to your email list as well. But hey, we don't need to do that because remember the zap, the zap is gonna do that for us. So we close it, come up here, save changes, publish the changes, all right? And we should be good to go. Now, in order to test this, once we've done this, we're going to go back to the initial Funnelizer page. What we're going to do is we're going to click on here. We're going to get the URL for this particular lead page. We're going to copy it. We're going to come over here, and we're going to paste it in, and it's going to bring us to the actual page. So in order to test this, we just need to put like a test thing here. So I'm going to put Chris, and I'll put Chris at chrisilgia.com. And I'm going to say get lifetime access. All right. So it brings me over 
it brings me over to this page, right? So what's going to happen now is we should be able to see that the, a new lead was created in Aweber. Sometimes, though, Zapier may take a little while to do it. So what you can do to, in order to test it quicker is come over here into your dashboard for your Zapier, and then you can click on this little that little arrow and tell it to run so that it automatically runs it for you. So it's saying that now we're manually running it, looking for prospects. We just triggered our new one new prospect. Aweber create subscriber was successful, right? So let's check to make sure that actually happened. So we can go back here to this list, Facebook course list. If we refresh it, we should be able to see a new lead that came in. Let's see. We hit man subscribers. Wait for it. Bam. Look at that. There it is. The lead, right? My name and then the email address we use. And then to, just to confirm it, you click on the arrow and look at that. Tag. Facebook course. Tag. Look at that. So now your new lead is tagged with Facebook course or whatever tag you want it. And then it instantly can be uh, added into a particular campaign that you want, or it can be easily isolated as segmented on your list for whatever for whatever information you want. There's all kinds of things you can now do now that this list this lead is tagged and you did it automatically using Zapier and Funnelizer and Aweber. So that's it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that was helpful. That was a nice little walk Zapier tutorial, Aweber tutorial walkthrough, and how to tag new Aweber email subscribers if you're using MLSP Funnelizer using Zapier. All right. So hope that was helpful. Hope it was valuable for you. It took me a friggin' a while to figure that out. Definitely wanted to put that video, like I said, to remind myself and hopefully it helped you out too, right? So if you did, hey, definitely give the video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel. And hey, feel free to leave a comment too if you've been using tags for your Aweber email accounts and if you've been using Zapiers and how other way have you been using it to really automate your business and help you out? Love to, love to hear your comments, all right? And so, oh, by the way, if you want to learn more about my number one recommended system and for making money online, then hey, click the link below, all right? Get access to that. And all what, by the way, don't forget the free affiliate guide too. You'll love that, by the way. So until the next exciting episode, this has been a Zapier tutorial, a Weber tutorial. Hope it was helpful until the next exciting episode. Be blessed. Stay hungry out there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.